Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're all doing well. So, you want to start a vlog, but you don't know what you need in order to start a vlog. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you five tips on what you need so that you can start a vloggy. Alright, the first thing you need in order to start a vlog is obviously a camera. Now, if you're just starting out and don't have a lot of money to invest in the DSLR cameras, not to worry, all you need is this, a smartphone. Because most smartphones nowadays shoots in HD, so it's already good enough for you to shoot for YouTube. And also, if you're gonna shoot for YouTube, make sure you shoot your phone like this, horizontal, not vertical horizontal because if you shoot vertical for YouTube the aspect ratio will look weird so always always shoot your camera like this all right the second thing that you need is a tripod now tripod is very important so that you can put your camera on it and your camera can be stabilized like this like how my camera is stabilized right now and not shaking and again, if you don't have a lot of money, you don't have to spend so much on those expensive big tripods. You can buy one of those uh, tripods at a DIY shop for like, what, uh, 50 bucks or less. Here, let me show you what uh, my tripod looks like. Now, I don't know if you can see it from the reflection. There you go, it's just a simple uh, tripod. Uh, yeah, it's not that expensive. I think I bought this for around like 30 bucks or something. So yeah, again, you don't need to spend that much on equipment. All right, the third thing that you need to do vlogging is lighting. Now again, if you don't have any money to spend on any lighting equipment, not to worry, you have the natural sunlight at your disposal. But of course, you have to choose the appropriate time of the day to shoot. So I would suggest, ideally, if you wanna shoot in the sunlight, choose between 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. and any time after 4 p.m. until sundown because that is when the sun shines bright and the best. And you also have to check for weather because sometimes, you know, if it's gonna rain, if it looks gloomy, the lighting might not be so nice. So yeah, lighting, that's number three. All right, tip number four. Now I think this is the most important element when making a video, which is sound. Now, a lot of people can forgive a bad footage, but with a good quality sound, but people cannot forgive if your video has a bad quality sound. Now, what happens if you don't have the money to invest in sound equipment? Well, you can either borrow your friend's sound equipment, or what you can do is make sure that when you record a video, you are close enough to the camera like this, like how I am close, and make sure your voice overpowers any environmental sounds like the wind, the damn birds chirping, the motorcycle and cars passing by, and so on. So you gotta make sure you have a really, really good voice, especially if you're gonna stand far away from the camera, all right? Remember, sound, it's really important. All right, lastly, tip number five is, content now the beauty of making videos for youtube is you can do whatever you want you don't have to listen to anybody else you can set your own rules now if you're wondering like what kind of content should i make well you should ask yourself this what am i good at or what am i interested in because what you want what you want to do for youtube is be the best version of yourself so let's say if you are a chef Maybe you can make videos about cooking new recipes or improving an existing recipes. And if you're an artist or a sketcher, maybe you can shoot videos of you drawing or painting. Now, what you don't want to do is try to be something that you're not. Now, for example, since we are all in isolation due to COVID-19, a lot of people have been doing a home workout video which is good, which can be inspiring for a lot of people. But if you're the kind of person who have never worked out in your life, who has never done any kind of exercise, and then suddenly you want to make a workout video, then a lot of people are going to know that, you know, you're phony because you might not get the workout right or you might not get the proper form. So always, always do something that you are good at. Now, obviously, you can uh, take a copy a little bit of other YouTubers' style, maybe style of shooting, style of speaking, whatever, that is fine. 
but when it comes to content, make sure it's unique to your own niche. All right, so that's it, my five tips on how to start a vlog. So now you know, what are you waiting for? Go, go start vlogging now, go, 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 go. All right, take care and stay safe.